In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new Switch emulator called Sumi. This is a fork of Sudachi, which is a fork of Yuzu. Its main focus is on improved support and performance for Android, but the Windows version is also being worked on as well and still in development as the recording of this video. Now, I will let you know, during my testing, I did experience a few crashes in the middle of my game. So no, this emulator is not perfect. It is currently being worked on. So let's head on over to the official Sumi GitHub page, which I will leave in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, scroll down until you see assets and you want to download this one right here that says win x64 fix you do not want to download this one because this one has some errors such as controller input so make sure you are downloading the fix version once you click on it your download will start now i have saved that file here on my desktop you guys can save it wherever you like whether that be an external hard drive external ssd it's up to you now we need to extract this file and we can do this two different ways. Let's right click on the file and you can use the Windows built in extractor by selecting extract all or you can download this free software called 7zip which this is what I prefer to use. If you have 7zip installed all you need to do is come down to show more options, go to 7zip and we're going to extract to Sumi. This is gonna create a new folder containing all of our extracted files. We no longer need the zip file, so we can right click on it and delete it. Also here on my desktop, I have a folder containing some Switch ROMs. And inside of that folder, I have some games that are NSP and XCI file types, which are playable. Now, when you first get your Switch ROMs, they're gonna be in a compressed format that needs to be extracted. For example, I have Overcooked 2 that needs to be extracted. So we're gonna right click on it, go to show more options, 7-zip, and this time extract here. We now have a XCI file type, so we no longer need the zip file. Right click on it and delete it. Now, if you have any DLC or update files, you wanna extract those as well. Right here, I have some Overcooked 2 DLC, so we're gonna go ahead and extract this as well. And when you extract this, you want to extract to overcook so it creates a new folder containing all of your DLC. Delete the zip file and if we take a look inside of that folder there is all of our DLC files. Now I am sorry guys I cannot tell you here where to get switch ROMs you can do some searching for yourself I'm pretty sure you will find some or you can check out my Patreon page link in the description and I have some videos there that can help you out with this. Now two other files you're gonna need to get your emulator up and running is your keys and firmware. And in this folder, I have my prod.keys and title.keys and I have my firmware, which also needs to be extracted. So we can go ahead and right click, show more options, 7-zip and extract here. And here are all of the firmware files. We can delete that zip folder. Now, just like the ROMs, I cannot tell you guys where to get keys or firmware, but once again, do your research or check out my Patreon page. I also have videos on both of these. Now let's go ahead and open our Sumi folder, scroll down and open this file here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go up to tools, install decryption keys, go ahead and locate wherever you have your keys. In my case, on my desktop in that folder keys and select prod.keys. Successfully installed, okay. Now let's install our firmware, back up to tools, install firmware, locate that firmware, and select folder. And if you wanna see what version of firmware you are running, down here in the bottom right, you will be able to see that. Now let's add our games to the emulator. So right here where it says double click to add a new folder, go ahead and double click, locate your Switch ROMs, also on my desktop, then select folder. Now if you look in the add-ons column, you will see two of my games already have updates and DLC included. That's because the ROM file contained both of those. As for Overcooked 2, you don't see anything because we need to add our DLC files. 
Now to install your DLC files, you wanna go up to file, install files to NAND. I'm gonna select my Overcooked 2 DLC folder, highlight everything that's in that folder, and then come down to open. Make sure everything is checked and install. Five files installed. And now as you see, next to Overcooked 2, it shows our DLC. And if you have any update files for any games, then you wanna install those update files the same way as you install your DLC. Now let's go up to emulation, configure. Let's go down to graphics. Now for the API, mine is already set on Vulkan. Make sure yours is on Vulkan for the best performance. And make sure your device is showing your actual graphics card and not your CPU. Make sure that VSync is already turned on. And for the resolution, I'm going to go ahead and increase this. Now the resolution on the left will be handheld mode. The resolution on the right will be docked. And by default, your emulator will be running in docked mode. And I'm going to go ahead and increase this to 2160p, which is 4K. Now you can up your resolution if you have a pretty powerful PC, but if you notice when you start playing a game that the performance is bad, such as lagging or stuttering, then you may wanna come back here and try lowering the resolution. Now let's go over to advanced. Now if your PC has six cores or greater, go ahead and enable asynchronous. This will give you greater performance with this emulator. And you also wanna go ahead and enable shader building. This will eliminate stuttering when you first load a game for the first time and you have shaders loading in. Now let's go down to controls. Now I have tested an Xbox, a PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch Pro controller with this emulator. They all work. The controller I am using now is an Xbox controller. So over here under input device, I'm gonna select Xbox One controller. And as you see, when I selected that controller, it mapped the controller out for me. So there is no setup required, but if you do want to change some of your buttons around, then you can. You just simply click the button you want to change, and then you hit whatever button on your controller you want to become that button. Then you want to come up here to new, and we're going to save this profile. I'm going to call it Xbox, OK, and save. Now one more thing I want to show you here, we're going to go back up to general, and right here we have hotkeys. So here you can see your hotkey options and you can also change some of these to whatever key you like. We are done here, come down to okay. Now if you wanna set up any custom configurations, then you wanna right click on a game, go down to properties, and from here under add-ons, if you have multiple updates, then you can check which one you wanna use. If you wanna uncheck your DLC to take it off, then you can. If you go over to graphics, you could set custom graphics for this particular game. You could do the same thing for your advanced graphics, your audio and input profiles. And then just simply click on the game and it will load up. Now, if you wanna go full screen, then you just simply press the F11 key. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.